Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Look what he got today. We had a little video about this, uh, I don't know, a week ago. I found this sitting outside of a bike shop in, uh, at Baxter Cycle here in Marnie. We're the big Vinnytropolis of Marnie, Iowa right now. And uh, made a little short video of it and its owner, Mark, over yonder. He uh, and I decided to get together and try to go over some of the things that are on this bike. She's pretty well loaded. Um, I really don't know where to start. Well, let's start with the engine. Stock engine with a booster plug. I believe that's over here. The exhaust on the thing has, uh, he has a uh, GPR exhaust. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that Italian? Um, it's got the flag symbol. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah, yes. very nice. Uh, keep it in this area. He's got these uh, SRC brake master cylinder covers and a reservoir cover and then over here on the other side he's got an SRC oil cover isn't that neat I like the way those pins come up like that very nice very nice <clears throat> covering the engine he's got these GV bars the 3.1s that gives you another area to you know if you fall over that gives it more place to spread the load I love these of course I've seen several bikes with these these pivot pegs I may end up with a pair of those on mine yet. I'm sure I will. <laughs> I'm sure I will. <laughs> but uh, coming over to the front, he just got these brand new Shinko 700s on it. Aren't those neat? Front and back. He got what, 50 miles on them? Probably about 20. 20 or 20 miles on them, yeah. So they're just right out of the shop. Well, yeah, look at that. But. Uh, I've heard that is an excellent tire. I can't wait to hear what he has to say about him after he gets some miles on him. He puts a lot of miles on. This is his second Himalayan. Jumping up here, he's got a fender raise kit that's higher than the one I've got. A lot more clearance. Hit the whole hand in there. Nice guard here. Now something interesting about this guard, headlight guard, he's put rubber and I'm going to do that on mine also. Top and bottom to alleviate vibration. Inside he's got, what's the headlight called? Uh, Fat Boy Headlight. The Fat Boy Headlight. Now with this? The Halo. Halo. It's got the Halo. And he was telling me it shines sideways really well. Um, real good lighting. I don't know if you can get it to come on. There it is. GoPro usually doesn't show lighting very well, but uh, let's see what that does for y'all. Yeah, let's just stay on the front. We've got these neat blinkers. And uh, you know what? Let's turn those on. There we go. He's got those front and rear. They're actually very bright. Check that out. Can you squeeze the, squeeze the brake lever? Look at the brake light when he squeezes it. Isn't that neat? I'm going to get that for mine. He said that was a bulb that you bought off Amazon or something yep. like that. Very nice. Uh, okay, staying on the front. This is a custom. It looks like it's smoked. It's a little larger than normal, tall, windscreen. And then on the inside, he's got this bar, a very, you know, very beefy bar because he didn't want his, his uh, Garmin to shake. And uh, what, what model Garmin this is this? Is Garmin XT. Garmin XT, wow, Zumo boy, that XT, is. Yes. Garmin Zumo XT, very nice. Good looking unit. Uh, down here is a power source with an on-off switch. Boy, there's just all kinds of things here. Backing up, we've got these mirrors, these ram mount mirrors. Double take. Double take, yep. You can fold those in when you get in the rough stuff or you can pop them off or you know, whatever you want. One of these. Hey, I used to have one of those on my Honda. I need one of those on my Himalayan. Cramp buster. Cramp buster, right. And then of course, bark busters, hand guards. A GoPro mount over yonder, another mount for the phone. Oh, you've got a, your uh, rocks risers. So the bars are up a little higher. And then there was, oh, another power source right here. Like I said, these got just also about. plug your battery tender in, it's really easy to get to. Oh, okay. So when you have it in your garage, garage. you just plug in right yep. there. Very nice, very nice. These trail packs, VA trail packs, is that? That's very nice. And I've thought of getting a set of those to block the wind from my knees. Yes. My, my uh, other bike, I have a, the tank bumps out and I get really good knee protection. So that would be a good idea. 
got them on both sides of course and then on top he's got this Cortec bag which is very solid I've got a bag like that on mine and it, it's just loose so I need to figure out a different option. This is the uh, magnetic mount and it stays right on there it's very, very easy to take on and off put fuel in just put it back on there just wow. fix down doesn't go anywhere. Very nice double magnets yeah very nice I like it I like it I know there's more up here we're missing. <laughs> okay, running towards the back, he's got the pannier mounts. You can put hard bags on these or soft bags. He's got these GV soft bags, which I just love, 15 liter bags, waterproof. I mean, look at those. Expandable, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And then on top, a KLR. Hey, that's his, well, we won't mention names. Uh, is this expandable also? It is. Expandable. You can get your helmet in there. It's got a lot of room in it. So you can put a helmet in there. Yeah. And even when I went camping, I put all, a lot of my gear in there. This thing expands up. You can get a lot of stuff in there. Right. And then you've got a big bag that goes over, over top. Uh, Mark's channel is uh, Midwest Hemi, right? Midwest Hemi. Midwest Hemi. Go check that out. Midwest Hemi. I'll put it in the description below. But look at that, isn't it just gorgeous? Oh, I can't forget this. This is one of the most important parts of any Himalayan. If you're gonna be out in the sticks, you need a one of these uh, kickstand uh, widened base, widen bases. But isn't that just a gorgeous bike? Every time I see this, I just fall in love. And you know what, we are forgetting something. This beautiful, comfortable seat, seat concepts. Very firm, this is the tall model. I may end up with one of those and I'm really serious about that on my bike, because that's that's uh, one of the downfalls of my bike is that the seat is soft and uh, over time it's actually gotten softer than the 8,500 miles I've been riding it. But uh, just an absolutely beautiful machine. A couple other things you can't see, booster plug. Yep, the booster plug. Yep. And the O2 block kit. Yes, the O2 block kit. And then also I put uh, the uh, um, extendable uh, extension on for my ambient air temperature sensor, which gets it really close now. Right. Um, Himalayan's the air temperature sensor. There's air temperature on the dash, ambient air, and the sensor's under the seat for some reason. And they sell a kit and that moves the sensor forward and you get a much more accurate reading that way. My bike, the, sense, the temperature's always eight to, eight to 16 degrees off, eight to 12 degrees off. And uh, his is much more accurate than that because of that. And that kit wasn't that expensive, was it? No. It's like 50 bucks, I think? Yes. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that expensive. Yep, so I may, I may invest in one of those myself. Yeah, look at this. I'm, I'm, rack, I'm, rack, I'm racking up the dollars just <laughs> looking at your bike. But an absolutely beautiful machine. There's what they look like plain. His is, of course, the same color as mine. What year is this one? This is uh, 2021. Oh, same year as mine. Yeah, 2021. I just love it. Beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing. What do y'all think of that? You want one, don't you? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go take that hot rod for a ride. Wahoo! Okay, guys. This is exciting for me because I want to really see what that seat's like. This is the same year as my motorcycle. Uh, his apparently runs quite a bit smoother. We're talking about what to do to mine to make it work better. And he's got all this gear on here, which I, I just, very, very beautiful bike. Let's find out what we can do here. On the mount, switch. Starts right up. Wahoo. It is a tall machine. It is a tall machine, guys. Gotta be aware of that, Keith. Oh, it is so smooth compared to mine. I have got to get mine adjusted. You can tell that it's a very tall, uh, it's up in the air. I love the tall seat. Just love it. Much smoother running than mine. That's it. Mine's going in the shop next week. We're going to get that fixed. His GPS works very well. It's got a pleasant sound. That pipe he has is very good. I love it. The mirrors are good. They're bigger and wider than mine. 
you know, I may have to just do some modifying on mine. Envy. Can you say envy? <laughs> His compass works. Good grief. And it's even got the right direction. Wow. I love it. Let's see what she does here. Spin around, nobody behind us. Those new Shinko tires are very good. He just got them on there, so they're like, I think he said 20 miles on them maybe. He drove to town to get some gas because he was out of juice. Oh, it's so smooth. It works, guys. This works for me. Let's go down here and see what we can do for some fun. Wahoo! The tires handled well. They're good. Those big Unabis that he has. Those are Shinko 700 series, I think. We will not be doing red line. This is the big, mighty... This is the mighty Minitropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Wave at the town, folks. I love it. Home of Baxter Cycle. Give those guys a call. Baxter Cycle, Marnie, Iowa. Hey, if you like this kind of video, let me know. Hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. There's all kinds of motorcycles out there and I'd love to know what you're interested in. Life is good. Life is good. You know what? I'm going to take this back. You all have a great day. Get yourselves out there and ride. Life's too short not to. Wahoo! Look at that lineup of bikes. And away he goes. <laughs>